Thanks, Ashley. Kicking things over to the Capitol now as a bill in Austin seeks to limit drag performances. Now, the bill doesn't want to ban them altogether, but is trying to categorize them in a way that would limit the number of performances altogether. I spoke with a drag queen here in College Station, though, who says that it's more than just an issue of identity, but it's a contradiction in these lawmakers' own beliefs. This is Cora Cadet, a drag queen with quite the familiar name. I was actually in the Corps of Cadets uh, whenever I started doing drag, uh, when, I, when I went to a &M. For more than 15 years, the performer is continuing to find their light. We're already up against barriers, so, you know, we just, you know, put ourselves forward. But a new bill in Austin could create an obstacle. SB 476 would include drag performances under the umbrella of sexually oriented businesses, which by state law are allowed only in certain spaces, which could limit performance venues. Whenever there's a drag brunch, it's it's known. You know, it's not like someone just stumbles upon that. Oh, there's a drag brunch happening at the restaurant I'm having dinner at. They're all they're all publicized and stuff like that. What what this is really rooted in is is people don't want kids coming to to, to drag shows. But Cora says it would also affect drag companies around Texas that rely on clients to stay in business. And the people that have put the bills forward are all about small business. They're all about less government restrictions. And what are they doing? They're adding all of those things on, so they're they're going to impact the small businesses. For the drag queens, some of them rely on the money they make from performances. I don't mind getting a little extra money because, you know, paying for a new costume or anything like that is expensive. Um, but, you know, but it, it, it will affect people and their livelihood. Cora believes the bill contradicts Republican ideals of the government's role in small business and the impact would be limiting an art form altogether. It's more than just that one performance or that one check that we're getting. It's something bigger than ourselves. A lot to weigh as lawmakers look to their next priorities in the coming weeks. And I should mention that we did reach out to the bill's author, State Senator Brian Hughes, several times who has yet to comment.